So my first example says 13 is less than 2x minus 1, sorry. And when I'm solving uh, inequalities, I solve it the same way I do an equation. You know, whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. Um, I use opposites to get the letter alone. So just everything I've learned about solving continues to be true. Um, I just have a couple of additional things that are going to come up, and we'll see them both as we solve these. Um, one is that if you flip the left and right hand side, uh, you'll see a change in the inequality symbol. And then another thing is if you multiply or divide by a negative, we will also see a change in the inequality symbol. And that is really, those are the only differences. Um, so everything we've already learned about solving is going to hold true. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so I'm solving. My goal is to get the letter alone. Uh, this time, instead of getting the letter alone on its side of the equal sign, I'm going to do it on its side of the inequality sign. So you can see this letter X is definitely not alone. There's a lot of numbers hanging out with X. There's a 2 and there's a 1, okay? And of course, as we're solving, we work the order of operations backwards. So move anybody adding or subtracting first. So I'm going to move away the minus 1. Again, I say I'm moving it away. I'm undoing math by using opposites. So the opposite of subtracting one is adding one. And again, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both the expressions here. So let's take a look now at what my new inequality will be after making that change. Well, on this side, it's easy to see that 13 plus 1 is 14. Yes, sometimes the inequality symbol flips, but I haven't done anything that affects the relationship between the two sides. You know, if one side is bigger than the other and I give them both one more, it'll still be the same side that's bigger. Okay, and so subtracting 1 and adding 1 are opposites. They cancel, and I've got 2x there. Now I'm almost done. Uh, X is almost alone, but not quite. I've got to get rid of this 2. The 2 and the X are shoved together, so they are currently multiplying. So if I want to get rid of something multiplying, I have to do the opposite of multiplying. I have to divide here, in this case, by 2. Again, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides to keep the relationship between the two sides the same. And now let's see what happens. 14 divided by 2, of course, is 7. I've done nothing here to flip the inequality symbol, so it's the same. It's a less than sign. And multiplying and dividing by 2, cancel. That's just 1, 1x, one but mathematicians are so lazy, we just write x. There's, there it is. There's 1x, a single solitary x. All right, and I'm left with this answer. Now, this is a perfectly legit answer. It says 7 is less than x. Right now, so we know 7 is the smaller number, and so therefore x is the larger number. But a lot of people, you know, like to write the x first. You're more likely to see the answers written with the x first, so be careful. If 7 is less than x, that means 7 is smaller. Therefore, x, well, x then is larger. So if you flip the x over to this side, you had better flip the inequality symbol to say x is greater than 7. So okay, that's the thing to take away from this. And that's different from when it's an equal sign, right? Because if 7 is equal to x, well, then x is equal to 7. It doesn't matter if you flip. There's no changes. But with inequality symbols, when you flip the left and right hand side, you will need to flip the signs. So if you flip the signs, flip Oh, let me say it again. If you flip the sides, flip the signs. And then when I say sign, I mean the inequality symbol, okay? Let me not be so catchy that I'm not clear. Okay, cool. So that's one little nuance to watch out for when solving inequalities. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Looks almost the same, and indeed we're gonna see a lot of the same skills coming into play. All right, let me grab up my pen so I can see the two sides of my inequality here. I've got two expressions separated by an inequality symbol. So I have negative two x plus nine is less than one. Negative two x plus nine is less than one. If I am solving, I am working to get x alone on its, his side of the inequality symbol. Obviously, he's not alone. There's a 9 hanging out. There's a negative 2 hanging out. I've got to get rid of both those numbers. Now, remember, when you're solving, you work the order of operations backwards. Um, so we are going to move anything that's adding or subtracting first. Now, be careful, because a lot of times the students will tell me, well, you know, 
the nine is adding and the two is subtracting and not with x. <laughs> so I agree with you that the nine is adding. I see this plus between the x and the nine. So yes, the nine is adding. But the negative two, even though it has a minus sign in front of it, the negative two is shoved up against x with no space between them. Uh, that means that here in this case, negative two is multiplying with x. I'm going to say that again. Negative 2 is multiplying with x, okay? So I'm going to get rid of the number that's adding or subtracting uh, before I get rid of the number that's multiplying with x. So let's get rid of the 9. Opposite of adding 9 is subtracting 9. That's how you get rid of something. Use opposites. Of course, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So I'm going to jump across the inequality uh, symbol, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And let's see what my new inequality will be. Okay. On this side, adding 9 and subtracting 9, well, those are opposites. They cancel out the effects of each other. And so all I'm left with is that negative 2x. Okay. Now, I told you that if you multiply or divide by a negative, you change the sign. But careful, adding and subtracting will never, ever, ever affect your inequality symbol. So I'm going to have the same symbol, less than. And then do 1 minus 9 in your calculator. If you're not good at adding and subtracting with negative numbers, that's fine. Anytime you have inequalities on the test, you will have a calculator. But I know that if I only have $1 and then I go and spend 9, I'm going to be in mad trouble. I'm going to be in debt $8. I'm going to have negative 8. All right, now I'm almost done. Now remember what we said that negative 2 and that x were doing. They're all shoved together like that, so they must be multiplying. So careful. If you want to get rid of this negative 2, don't add 2. Divide. And make sure you divide by exactly the number you want to get rid of. Don't divide by positive 2. Divide by negative 2. Now, I, again, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. And now let's talk about why I chose to do that. Well, when you're multiplying and dividing, two negatives cancel, so my neg negativity went away. And of course, two divided by two, well, that's just one. So again, I just have one x, or a single solitary x. Okay, now on the right-hand side, negative eight divided by negative two, again, if you need to do that in your calculator, that's fine, you would have it, but it's four. But careful, 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 I cannot stress it enough. When you negate, negate, An inequality. And so you're like, what the heck are you talking about, Kate? What is negate? Negate is just when you multiply or divide by a negative number. It actually flips the relationship of what number is bigger and what number is not. So you are going to need to flip your inequality symbol. So I'm going to go a little out of order. I'm going to finish this problem up first so you can have a close of your train of thought, and then I'll show you why this is true. But basically, if I'm divided by a negative, which I chose to do on both sides of the equation, I chose to make a change where I divided by a negative, it is going to affect my relationship. The side that's bigger will be smaller, and the side that's smaller will turn bigger. And so it is important to then flip your sign. So if you multiply or divide by a negative, I divide it by a negative. Then you will need to flip your inequality symbol. Whether you realize it or not, there is a consequence of multiplying or dividing by a negative number. It flips the relationship. OK, this is the correct answer. These are done. This one, final answer is x is greater than 7. This one's final answer is x is greater than 4. I just want to show you why this rule is true. OK, so let's just take a second here to start with something that doesn't have a mystery, doesn't have an x, something that you know to be true. Like, I bet you know it's true that 1 is less than 4. I have never had a student struggle with this concept. Like, no student is like, Kate, I don't think 1 is less than 4. Okay, 1 is less than 4. But imagine if I then took this inequality and I multiplied both sides by a negative. You say, why would you do that? Well, I can do whatever I want, right, to an inequality as long as I do it to both sides. Just like with an equation, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides, right? So let's just randomly do that just because I want you to see the effects. I want you to see why the inequality symbol has to change when you multiply or divide by a negative. And we could have easily just chosen to divide. I just want you to see something. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And all of a sudden, things have changed. 
Even though one was smaller than four, if I'm only in debt a dollar, I technically have more money than somebody who's in debt four dollars. It's because when you put a negative on a number, uh, like uh, like 15 is a really large number, but negative 15, it's a really small number. It's a really small number. So that's why it's super important. When you multiply or divide by a negative, it's going to change the signs. And so you need to change the inequality symbol. All right. So that's why it works that way. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, concept be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.